Hey, my friends, what the fuck is going on today? <laughs> that should tell you what kind of day I'm having. <laughs> uh, the Count of Tuscany, I'm listening to this song as a matter of inspiration because a whole collection of my peers and friends of you on Facebook were in Tuscany recently and shared videos and footage and images from Gold Note and Unison and Opera and all the Italian brands from Fidelity Imports. So congratulations to all you guys. Thank you for bringing all the views and videos and content from that audio adventure. I'm very much envious and jealous. I wish that I could be there next year. Ah, it's going to take a little bit. Um, so anyways, I went out for a bike ride today. As you can see through my window, let me zoom. It's a very nice day outside, even though I've got it closed, because your boy doesn't like the warmth. Uh, but I went out for a bike ride. Uh, I enjoyed a little bit of that. Um, I found that I was just sitting around at home and felt very anxious doing nothing. You know what I mean? Like, there are things I'm waiting for. I have to swap my amp out. I can't really afford anything financially. I've got a holiday Monday, which is great, but there's not a whole lot else going on. I could repair the ceiling, which is, I think, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put everything back where it was and count my blessings. Um, I do have all these other tiles to go up, so I can do that. So anyways, I'm sitting around. I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do. And I thought, you know what, I got my bike repaired, let's go for a ride. And while I'm riding, it felt so much better because anxiety, I find, is a symptom of not having enough to do or not doing something meaningful to absorb your mind. That's what I have to say about it. It's basically the, the, the moral of today is anxiety is a result of having nothing to put your mind into nothing meaningful to pursue and as an activity so psa for me to you is keep busy move forward as my good friend always says spit blood keep walking you know life is not going to stop and we need to make the best of it so cheers to you happy weekend happy monday holiday for us in canada see you guys soon yeah <clears throat> it's one thing I never learned how to do very well is relax. Um, something about having an anxious mind or an active mind or a curious mind is at every little turn or visual cue or verbal or words, uh, uh, my mind spins. Uh, it connects the dots where there may not be any. It dreams up things that are mostly irrelevant sometimes they're pretty cool like some of the artwork and some of the poetry and how to say things but most of the time it's just ironically and to use an audiophile phrase noise um so that's why music i guess for me is it allows my mind to focus on stuff like the strumming of the guitar or the phrasing of the words the rhythm of the drums my mind becomes like one in the moment and it's no longer thinking about all these other noisy types of things i definitely love music for that when i was playing drums same thing i would focus in on playing the drums the song that i'm doing my body moving the coordination anticipating only what's coming next like living in the moment um yeah, it's not always easy to remember that. That, you know, take a breath, four seconds in, hold for four, out for four, or just breathe in through your mouth, or in through your nose, out through your mouth a couple of times. Be present in the moment to let certain things go. I posted earlier today about picking your battles, what we stand for, certain principles, certain morals, certainly with online and the internet. <laughs> Yeah, it's learning how to be responsible for my energy. Lifelong lesson. Anyhow, I'm still listening to The Count of Tuscany, by the way. This song is like 16 minutes long. <laughs> Anyhow, enjoy some music today. Let me know what you're listening to. Soundtracks. 
so much nostalgia in a soundtrack. Um, I'm going to just leave this one out there. I want to know if anybody can tell me who the artist is and more importantly, what soundtrack this is from. It's a little quieter than my normal songs, but I think you can hear it. A little more dynamic. Um, sitting in the room, I'm actually going through my mind. I've got anxiety coming back in and I'm trying to decide on what amplification I truly want to go with for my foreseeable future. Now, I have an option. I'm choosing to forego my home theater system. I'm just not going to have one for now. It's not a, not as high a priority. I haven't been playing games as much. The movies that I'm watching, it doesn't really matter. Two channels seems to be suiting me just fine. It's something I didn't think I would ever come to, but times have changed, priorities have changed, and I always said that music deserves better. So I'm going to live by that statement, and I am sort of giving up on my surround system for now. Unless something magical happens, and I come across a surround unit that I can use, find, borrow, whatever, I'm just not going to have it. So yeah, and then the soundtrack came on and brought me right back to childhood watching this movie. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Anyhow, hopefully you're watching the movie, having a good time with your family today. Uh, happy Monday for those that are working, and it's a normal day. But for the rest of the Canadians, we have a Victoria Day, so it's fireworks night tonight. So, yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> boom, boom. I can't see this one not getting muted. It's one of the all-time classic soundtracks or movies, and I'm scrolling through a bunch of them today just to just telling my buddy Josh. I'm using nostalgic music today to compensate or combat some of my anxiety about things. And uh yeah. Attack of the Clones, so this isn't on one of the classic, classic ones, but it's obviously still John Williams, it's still very classic um, Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's so much power in the songs and the music. And now that I've closed my closet, I can feel that lowest end a little bit, but my left side is still... I got this really weird, like, open door behind me on this side, so this left part still sounds a little funky. Uh, you know, there's only so much in life you can control, so here's the ideal is focus on the things that we enjoy like nostalgic moments and things that will bring us back to a place and comfort and things like that without it being a vice like I don't want to turn to comfort food and I don't want to indulge so I'm not paying attention to reality but it's nice to visit these things right so anyways cheers to you again I know my video series on the weekends gets pretty thick but um thank you for watching and joining maybe I'll put all these on YouTube and then in which case hello YouTube as well <laughs> I don't have any videos planned for today I was out on a bike ride but I couldn't really film that I don't have a GoPro yet so maybe this will stand in and of course it's gonna get copyright flagged so anyhow <laughs> enjoy the vibes Yeah, some classics just stand out a lot more than others. That is definitely one of them. The movie in general, as some people know, is one of the first movies that had DTS sound included. Um, it was also one of the first times they had like large, like real life animatronics and graphics used. So there were lots of different graphic technologies built for this movie. ILM, 
um, all that kind of stuff. Very, very classic. Soundtrack, the quotes, the characters, the, you know what I mean? Like, it's nice that we had that originality in movies at a certain point in time. Those, like, late 80s, early 90s, like, there was a series of movies that are classics now that were risk taking and studios, like, presented something new. These days, almost everything is a copy or a franchise or, you know what I mean? Like, it's safe. We don't get that kind of, that moment of risk anymore. It's people that are just doing what it takes to get from one step to the next. We don't have that kind of risk anymore, or not as much, or maybe not as popular. There are still movies that are going to be in, like, film festival, lower rating, budget, you know, that kind of thing. They're still generating stories there, but a lot of copies of stuff. Not the same anymore, anyways, is what I mean to say. There was a time where it was like this, and it was huge. So, anyways, continuing on my theme today. Enjoy the music. Ah, why the fuck not? This movie series and soundtrack and everything is just too much fun not to get involved in. And of course, fucking Hans Zimmer is my favorite, so... Uh, I've got it turned up to like 55 today. I'm not even... Whatever. It's four in the afternoon on a holiday. I don't go out and blast off fireworks at 10 o'clock at night. I listen to my music. So I'm enjoying it. And uh, it's not harming anybody. Can't cause a fire. Unless, of course, this has a problem. Or this has a problem. But otherwise, I think I'm safe. (laughs) <laughs> Yo ho me hearties <laughs> Just enjoy some music today uh, Putting my thoughts where they need to be Trying to figure out how to get to the next step I'm really determined to make the system work that I want Rotel Michis and Boris and X3s at the minimum I don't know how I'm going to get to the sixes, but you know what? There's got to be a way. It's got to be able to to work. I don't care what kind of a room I have. I'll be able to figure it out. I'm going to start low. Of course, I'm going to start with what I got. Go with something that I can afford now. And go with something that I can afford when these disappear. And figure out the gaps in between. But you know what? Every time that that levels up... It just keeps pushing me for more. So, eyes on the prize, one day at a time, one opportunity at a time. And I feel like it's entirely possible. So, one of these days, we'll get there. <laughs> is what it is. And we're going to have some fun doing it. <laughs> 